Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can make your presentations come alive using the Morph Transition and the Crop Tool. So let's jump straight into it. As always, the first thing we'll do is go to New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, Blank. I'm just going to paste in all of the photos I have for this to save time and zoom out a little to see what we've got. All of these images can be added easily by going to Insert, Pictures, Stock Images and you can select any number of these and when you click Insert they'll all be added straight into your presentation. So these are all the ones I've picked and to get the rotation which is the first thing we want for this example we can do it in two ways. So you can either rotate each of these and align them when they're rotated or align them first and then rotate them which I think is the easiest way to do and I'll show you why. So if we click on any one of these images and the little circle appears above which is the rotate tool and if we hold down shift it will rotate in increments of 15 degrees. And for this example I'm going to be using minus 30 degrees on every one of them. So you could just hold it down and move it once then twice and that would be 30 degrees. And then you could do the same with this one then you could line it up. And while that's a good way of doing it I don't think it's the best way because what happens is it can be quite difficult to line up a large amount of images. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them all in a grid first and then we're going to rotate the whole thing and that allows you to use the inbuilt aligning tools inside PowerPoint. So we'll quickly move these all into position and you'll better see that as I align them the smart guides appear which is really helpful. If you don't have smart guides turned on you can right click anywhere on the background, grids and guides and then make sure that Smart Guides is ticked. So that's pretty much everything aligned. Control A to select them all. Control G to group. Now if we right click, go to Format Picture, go to Size and Properties, Use the size drop down and for rotation we want minus 30 degrees. You can also type in 330 and you would get the same result. Now let's zoom out a bit and a quick way of doing this is holding the control key and turning the mouse wheel. We'll just align this with our page. That's looking pretty good. We'll just go full screen to see it. Great, here's our starting slide. Now let's make the photos come alive using the Morph tool and the Crop tool. Firstly, we'll need to ungroup these. So we'll Control A to select them all and Control Shift G will ungroup them. Now we can duplicate the slide with Control D. And on this second slide, we need to make sure that we go to Transitions and choose Morph. Also, I want this to be quite quick and snappy, so I'm going to make it one second duration. And now we can use the crop tool to zoom into these images on the second slide that we morph to. So if we select this image in the middle, right click, crop, we can see these crop handles appear. And the black handles are the area that's cropped. And we don't want to change that, we want to change the white circle handles on the outside. So if I drag this corner handle you can see the image getting bigger and then in this area where the four arrows appear as the cursor I can just drag it into place and then click off. So I'll just show you that's going to go from the first slide which looks like this and on the second slide it's going to zoom in nicely to look like this. So for example on this lizard here we can go to crop. Again make sure 
that we use the white handles to drag it up in size and then position it where you want to. Right click, crop, zoom in any amount you want and position it where you want. Right click, crop, zoom in, position it. You can do this any amount that looks good. It's just about creating some movement and giving a nice visual effect. Some of them you might want to zoom in quite a lot and some of them you might want to zoom in just a little bit. Excellent, that's them all done. Now let's look at the result. Go back to slide one, play the slideshow and as soon as we click, nice. So there's a great way of making your photos come alive in PowerPoint just by using the morph transition and the crop tool. And also, I've shown you a great way of how you can use rotation to add visual interest to your slides. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.